Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, Miss Vanessa, and good afternoon everyone. And over here, I like to share about the material, especially what is the tenses. So before that. I'm gonna with of course I'm going to show about the what is micro teaching first. So micro teaching is the method of teaching the show from the teacher for to increase their capability, to increase their skill and and it can be it can make the teacher more easier to transfer the knowledge or information to the student. And before before we start, I'm going to show you about the, the material. Okay, next. Let's get started about the material. How about the so over here? I'm going to show you about the strategies. Strategies to increase the communication, especially in quality. Just like I'll over here, I will I will get some discussion with my student. Her name is Hasnato Sabila, and I would like to share information. Become a teacher, I like to share information about the how what's the simple present tense. Okay, get up and uh, don't wait too long. Let's get started. Simple present tense is used, commonly used in daily activity. And daily, uh, some you, you can use, you can use daily, you can use in daily, your daily activity or daily routine, just like jogging, just like swimming, but for every day. But you need to do it with routine. Not only that, no daily activity, not just daily activity. You can use it to give some light about the fact of general information. Oh yes, right. From newspaper or from media and just like that. And the formula of the simple person time. Subject. You know about the subject first? Subject is you can use you can check the subject. You can put the subject from the someone or maybe object in the positive sentence. Subject and then you can use verb. But for one in the simple present tense, you can use verb one. And then for one. For one, what's the for one? For one is just like swim, just like buy something, but in the best form. Okay, for one, it means best form. Okay. And next, you, you should add S or ES after the verb. Okay, after the verb. So, for example, buy, you can use Okay. And next, object, counter complement. So this is object. You can use it uh, as verb, as verb of time. It's like every day. So every, every, every about this. It's signal to the simple present tense. Okay. Uh, did you got it? For the book? Yeah, I got it. Got it. Okay. 
So I want to give you for example for the prevention test. For ex for the example, I as a subject plus first one go. For example, go and uh, at first of place just like school. Uh, at first and then we can use at first of time. I go to school every day. Okay, school is as a noun. I'm so sorry, as a noun, and you can use complement every day. So the complete sentence is I go to school every day. Okay, understand? Okay. And then maybe you can ask something about the about the central question. Okay? All right. Uh, could you give me more e example about simple question tense? Okay. And I'm gonna give you more example about the simple present tense. I swim. I as a noun swim. You can uh, you can use different verb. Firstly, and I give you go, but right now I give you an example for swim. But in the verb one, you need to remember. Verb one is you can use best verb, only best verb, and then s or the s. Every verb, uh, we have to use s or the s. Yes. In every verb. In every, every verb. Every subject. Yes. I swim, and at the swimming pool every day. Uh, but oh, I'm so sorry. S or E S. Just uh, use. Uh, you can use it too. You can use the S or E S. No, uh, only for he, she, it. I'm sorry. Are you daily? Uh, not only. Uh, not in are you daily? Okay. And All next. Alright, I got it, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And then, uh, you can interest. You are you interested? Interested with this topic? Yeah. What's your opinion about that? This uh, limitation make me make me improve my uh, English, uh, especially in simple present tense. Thank you for your explanation. Sir. Thank you. So the simple present uh, just like the just like this we talked before, simple present is generally used in the daily activities. Okay. Thank you for coming and thanks for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kosa mana? Kosa mana?